go. Why can't I hear the garage door opening and closing? And it's going to make lots of noise. And then it's going to be background noise in this video. <sighs> humans welcome to fangirl friday the place where i talk about books movies and other things i like to fangirl over it's been a long time since i did that intro <laughs> now can we all just take a moment to appreciate benedict cumberbatch so recently the oscars were a thing right the oscars were recent they were like two weeks ago two weeks one week recently the oscars happened recently and there's this thing that happens at the oscars and at the award shows a red carpet. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's where celebrities, you know, walk down and, and get photos taken. It's really magical to be honest. And there is one person on these red carpets that is the most adorable person in the entire world. Three guess who it is. One, two, three. You can't guess because it's the internet, but it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch is the most, he's just, he's just beautiful. And if you didn't hear recently, Benedict Cumberbatch, being the beautiful person that he is, found another beautiful person and married her. And it was adorable, and they announced it in the newspaper because he's so old-fashioned and British that no one can actually handle it. His wife's name is Sophie. She is beautiful. Like, actually beautiful. When they have children, it will just be like, you are the most beautiful little beings running around this earth. Thank you, genetic makeup. But Benedict's new wife, Sophie, doesn't have a lot of experience with the red carpet because she, you know, isn't a big-time celebrity. She does act and she does direct, but none to the extent of having to walk the red carpet at the Oscars or the Golden Globes or the Brits or the BAFTAs or whatever the heck they go to. I think the Brits are the music actually. And obviously when you're not used to being in the spotlight, it can be a bit daunting. And obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch also realizes this. I saw a Buzzfeed post, which is where all this is coming from, of Benedict at all these different events, their gifts of him turning to his wife and saying, are you okay? It might not sound like much, but he is just, you can see the adoration in his eyes. You can see in the way that he looks at her, he's like, are you okay? That he actually cares. He actually wants her to be okay. And he will fight someone to make sure that she is okay. He would move heaven and earth for her. And you can just tell that by looking at his face. You can tell. And it is beautiful and magical and just, can we all just appreciate. So, you know, there's just gif after gif after gif. And I do say gift because I believe that's how it's pronounced. But Benedict Cumberbatch is just like turning to his wife. In one, he's like, you know, are you alright? And another one, he is walking away to an interview and he turns back. He's like, Sophie, you're gonna be alright. And then this most recent one, they're getting their photos taken at the Oscars. They're on like the little panel thing, getting their photo taken. And while he's getting his photo taken, he's just like, screw the cameras. Turns with like, are you okay? And she just nods. And then, and then he kisses her on the cheek and she's just like, Benedict Cumberbatch just kissed her on the cheek because he cares. Benedict Cumberbatch cares. So guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I'll be linking the BuzzFeed post below so you can see all the beautiful gifts in all their glory yourself. Definitely make sure you go and check it out. I shared it on Facebook and all these people were like, oh my goodness, and it was great. And with that, that's all I have to say. I love you all so much. Probably not much as Benedict loves Sophie. But Benedict loving Sophie is like Romeo loving Juliet or like Rose loving Jack. It's just like, it's otherworldly. Ugh. But that being said, I do love you guys. I'll see you next time and goodbye. This whole video was just a really passive aggressive nudge at the future romantic partner of mine that does not exist because Cat Lay is forever. But if he did, he would need to be taking notes. So boys, if you want a piece of this, take a piece out of Benedict Cumberbatch's book. That was really creepy and I regret saying that. Okay.